The 24 hours of Nürburgring, a day-long sim race. 24 hours, of course, is the most extreme kind of racing or sim racing event around. And the full Nürburgring Nordschleife track in all of its over 15 mile long glory is one of the most extreme tracks to run it on. We are in the touring car class for this race, denoted by the red numbers on the timing board, and Jules is starting our number 63 Horizon Motorsports car in second position. The total time remaining will be shown up here, and the current driver and car information the live stream is focusing on will be shown here. Alright, let's go racing for 24 hours. Three-way battle for the Touring Group lead was underway early on, as Jules also defends second position from TXL Touring's Matt Horst. Matt all over the back of Jules, looking for a way by, but then the leader dropped a wheel on the grass just ahead and brought all three cars back together again. Jules having dropped back to third, and the battle continuing. Das meine ich. Und das meine ich. Man muss richtig aufpassen, dass man da nicht... Oh, der schlägt da glaube ich ein. Ja, und da gibt's den ersten und, oh, da gibt's auch Unfall. Die as some crazy moments take place in the GT field, our first driver swap took place as Greg Hall gets in the car just as the rain starts to pour down on the track. The rain made things a bit frantic as everyone tried to figure out how to negotiate a soaking wet Nürburgring course. But Greg was doing well in the tricky conditions. However, as he was sliding his way around the course, he got collected by a GT3 McLaren into turn one. Later on, Greg would pit and hand the car back over to Jules. With more than 21 hours still to go, the rain had stopped and Jules continued to run the car in second position. He finished his stint and handed the car over to John for the first time. The rain may have stopped, but the road was still dangerous and the action still frantic around the track. It started pouring soon enough though as John started to settle into a rhythm, catching up to the touring car class leader. John took the lead of the race from TXL Touring and then brought the car in to hand back over to Jules in first place. And then come here to the Touring class with Jules uh, Gux, the Horizon Motorsport. Jules maintained the lead of the race as the frantic nature of a drying track took its toll. The drying line was of course starting to form, but it only gives the illusion of grip as it was still very slippery just offline. Putting even a single wheel back onto the wet parts of the track was almost guaranteed to send you for a ride. The sun was starting to set, and at this point is when I actually woke up and joined the team on the radio. On the actual race day, I had no idea what had happened up to this point of the race. I just knew I was hopping into the class-leading car in very tricky conditions. Okay, so I am changing back the Brad Bias 252, that's the, the setup uh, value. Okay, nobody coming. I think there's a stuck GT right there at the corner, last corner. So there are two GT cars behind you.
I wrapped up my stint and gave the car to John. John ran a full stint before giving the car over to Greg, who ran his stint before giving the car back over to me. And the three of us took on the Nurburgring night while Jules was sleeping. I got in the car for the second time, but unfortunately had issues with the recording. I had a pretty quiet stint in the darkness and then switched out with John as we remained first in class. Meanwhile, life continued around the pitch black German course. John wrapped up his stint and swapped with Greg, and Greg took us out of the night, past the 15 hour mark, and into the early hours of the morning. All right, hopping in with Greg Hawley is just wrapping up his stint. I will take over. The sun is rising up. We have light again over the Nordschleife. We have made it through the long night. We retain the lead of the touring group class. Whew. About two laps ahead of the cars behind. All right, no damage. 80 liters of fuel, soft tires, Mr. Troy as driver. All right, there's that sunrise peeking through the trees. We continue our 24 hours of Nur Nurburgring. There's the sun, has well and truly entered the sky. Coming up to overlap third place, so they're putting a third lap on them. the sister car there fifth out of six in class yeah the rain that was over the English Channel is getting closer and closer it looks like there's a good chance it'll hit in within two hours Much more respect for this track now, braving this uh, this event. It's not a track I particularly like, to be honest, but it is just an awesome track for sure. However, 
players feeling towards the end there. Yeah, I, I burned them a little bit, so I'm at 47.50. Okay. Do you want to go for softs? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so I got you, no damage, softs, 80 liters. And that car is getting the lap back. All right, Greg taking over for his final stint of the race. Slight schedule change. We're going to go back to Greg, then we'll go to John, and then we'll see if Jules awakens from his French slumber. And we'll figure out how the last couple of stints go. It might just be Jules to finish out. Rain potentially coming. There's still six hours to go in the 24 hours of Nürburgring. Greg wrapped up his stint and headed off to bed after a job well done, handing the car over to John for his final stint of the race. John then swapped out for good as well. The team manager handed the car over to me as I would take the car into the final three hours. Jules also woke up and was getting ready for the final stint. I'm just checking the radar right now. Yeah, it's all green all, all around the track except the track itself. Magic. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing, actually. So, Jules. Yeah. It's getting to the point where, uh, you know, in a lap or two, if it rains, you might just want to switch drivers at that point as well. Okay, I'm getting ready. Geht jetzt uh, try win. Oh, Jules, I just went off. Okay, you need repairs now? Yeah. Okay, so I join. That's what you want? Yep. Nummer 11, Jules Gu von Horizon Motorsports. This is our first Touring. Needing to cut my stint short a little bit left Jules with 2 hours and 25 minutes to run till the end. The well rested Jules was able to handle that no problem and we maintained our 2 lap lead over 2nd place. And then slowly, we watched as the 24 hour clock ticked down to zero and we realized what we had achieved. Aber es ist vorbei, die 24 Stunden sind rum und Gratulation an Freewald Motorsport. Awesome job, Jules. Awesome job. It was a pretty long drive for you at the end, but good job. Yeah, it was great. Hey guys, congratulations. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Hey, Matt. Thank hey, Matt. Thanks. Congrats, guys. Good job. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, well John, that setup was awesome, man. 63, well done. It did work. Thanks, James. And there it was. John, Jules, Greg, and I had achieved an amazing feat, winning our class at the 24 hours of Nürburgring. The 
24 hour race win is a huge milestone in any sim racer's career and I'm so proud of our team and all the hard work put in throughout this journey. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, um, I'm heading off to bed. See you. Yeah, have a good too. night. <laughs> Take care. Sleep well. See you guys. Yeah, have fun. User disconnected from your channel. He sounds knackered. Oh, yeah.